John 12, verses 12 to 15. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna. Blessed is the... Blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat thereon as it is written. Fear not, daughter of Sion, behold, thy king cometh to thee on a donkey's colt. May the Lord bless the hearing, giving, and the most doing of his most holy word. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you asking for help for people that are homeless. Thanking you for giving us a home and a roof over our head. We are thanking you for being able to be able to sleep eat at night. We are asking you to keep us on our path and safe from COVID. And we are thanking you for giving us health and letting us wake up this morning. Amen. Amen. Bye. 
is now the end of our devotion. Thank you for joining us. the Lord this morning as we gather here to celebrate Palm Sunday when Jesus began his road to the cross. When they all hollered, what did they holler? Hosanna! So we say this morning, praise the Lord. Anointing fall on me. Anointing power of the Holy Fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me. Let the power. Father, we now bow before you, Lord, so humbled and so grateful that you have once again called us into your sanctuary to worship your most holy name. Lord, and you called us here today that we might remember that our Lord began that walk to the cross, that sacrifice for us that would let us see eternal life. So now, Lord, as we worship you today, Father, we ask that you would help us to worship you in spirit and in truth with the right understanding and the right attitude, Father, that everything that we do here today will be about you. None of it will be about us, but everything we do shall give glory and honor to your name. So, Lord, we praise you now. We glorify you and we worship your name, and we ask it all in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Hear, O Metropolitan, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all of thy soul, with all of thy strength, and with all of thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. Let us continue in worship as we bump elbows with each other, or just look at each other and tell somebody you love them this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord, 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 praise the Lord. Yes, he's worthy, he is 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 worthy. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, as we continue and praise and worship our call to worship this morning will be coming from Psalms 113, 1 through 6. Amen. It is on the overhead. Let us read that together. Amen. Let us read together the call to worship. Praise, Praise ye the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens, who is likened to the Lord our God, who dwelt on high, who humbled himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. Our scripture this morning will be read by Sister Israel May. Amen. I will be reading for you Matthew 21, verses 1 through 11. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and were come to Beth and Bethphage, unto the Mount of Olives, they sent Jesus to disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and, stray, and straight away ye shall find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straight away he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which ha was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek, and sitting upon a donkey, and a colt, the fowl of a, of a donkey. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the donkey and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in a way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. 
in the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come, when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus and the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. I have read for you Matthew 21, verses 1 through 11. May the Lord have a blessing on the reading, hearing, and doing of his most holy word. him this morning, blessed assurance, blessed assurance, it's going to be read by Deacon Bob Smith, it will be on the overhead, and let's all sing together as he comes, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine, amen. and Bob Smith and also Sister Mariah Taylor. Amen. Good morning, church. It is a good morning. The Lord has blessed us one more time to be here. This is a youth day. I've asked a youth to join me as we sing this morning's hymn. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Our scripture, let us approach the sanctuary with a true heart and full assurance of faith. With our hearts sprinkled clean, Hebrews 10, 22. We'll do all three verses.
is my story, this is my song, praise me my Savior, the King of this is my story, this is my song, I'm just praising my Savior, oh. Is worthy to be praised. As we continue and worship our man, we must not forget about prayer, our man. It is essential in all that we do. your attention to the following. The family of Abel Shaw, the services of Hendon, Amen. We'll pray for Peter Adams for the week of April 16th through 20 for traveling zone, for no traveling zone, South America. For Shemay that is here today, amen. Radio Latanya, Rhonda's cousin, Joel Crosley, that 11 year old individual that's thinking about suicide, we hold her in prayer, amen. Amanda Phillips, the daughter, Claudine and the Ruffin family and the neighborhood for her neighborhood of those who have lost loved ones, amen, and Gwen Thomas for her healing, amen, and the ones that are over the overhead. And you may call out names, you may stand as you are, you may come to the altar now. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Yes, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. Oh, Lord, our God, how omnipotent is your grace in all the earth. In all the earth, we call on your name, Lord, but we don't know anyone else. There's no other God but you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We come to you, Lord, at this hour. Hear our call. Those names that were called, you already know, Lord. You know our ups and downs. You know our going out and coming in. You know what needs to be healed. Thank you for healing what needs to be healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your divine grace that enfolds in hearts and minds that we come to you seeking your help, seeking your assurance, Lord, seeking your blessings, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your understanding, for your guidance, for your order, Lord. Thank you for touching each soul and each mind and each heart, Lord. Let us render to you, Lord, that we love you, Lord, that we look to you, Lord, the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord. But we know, Lord, you're able, and we thank you, Lord, for your all things working together for your good, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the young people, Lord, for their endurance and for their continual understanding of your word, Lord. Help them, Lord, one by one and name by name. Thank you for the encouragement and the supporters that they have, Lord. Oh, Lord, we come to you this morning thanking you for this day that you have given us, Lord. Thanking you for allowing us to worship you, Lord, one more time. And thanking you, Lord, for your understanding of all that we do. Thank you for all things working together. Those of lost loved ones, Lord, we seek your divine love and comfort, support in every way, Lord. Metropolitan families touch and bring forth in us the unity for one another. As we give your name the praise, as we give your name the honor, as we give your name the glory, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our offering this morning will be led by our minister, by B.J. Keith. Amen. morning. I'll be reading for you Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 to 7. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. Bring ye all the time into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. Prove me not here with said the Lord of hosts if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. That there shall not be room enough to receive it. 
I have refugee Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 through 10. And what a blessing to read this verse and go into the word. Amen. And let us read the text of these two plus the words. Please bow your heads and close your eyes for a minute. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone that came to the house and brought here today. I ask that this money goes to the future of this church to help build up the kingdom of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. church say amen. Praise the Lord. At this time we will call on uh, to cherish the young people and children recognition by Vespa Russ and Ernestine Clark. Amen. Minister Ida Watson and Minister Diane Elliott, officers, members of Metropolitan, and all those that are online. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> As you all know, we all here at Metropolitan love all of our young people. They are they mean the world to us. And with everything that's going on in the world, the challenges that they're up against. We're always praying and lifting them up to get through. We know each of them are all doing great things at the church, in the community, in school, preparing for college. Some are away at college. And we're just praying for them mightily to stay close to God and to Keep aiming for and stay focused on the prize. Today, we are going to recognize seven of our young people, and that's only because Miss Vespa and I received information from those seven. <laughs> so as I call your name, young people, please come up, get a small token from your church family, and then just stand in front as I read your achievement 
and wait till everyone has been called and have come forward. Now, if by some reason the young person isn't here, if a family member or close friend will come and stand forward. Okay. First we'll have Relaya Keith. Relaya is a freshman at Schlegel High School. She is on the honor roll. She's uh, in the youth mission. She plays soccer at Schlegel, and she's a member of the youth choir. Her mother is Rachel Keith, and her father is Byron Keith Sr. That brings us to Byron Keith Jr., as we all know, is BJ. BJ is a senior at Sumner Academy. He's qualified for the state wrestling. He's in youth mission. And he is the percussionist for all the choirs here at Metropolitan. He, too, is a part of youth mission. Kyla Burdett. I'm so sorry. Uh, BJ's parents are Rachel Keith and Byron Keith Sr. Kyla is a junior at Sumner Academy. Kyla, she achieved getting 24 with a super score of 25 on the ACT. She's a member of the youth choir, youth mission, and she's running for Cow Valley District Queen 2022. <laughs> Her father is Mr. David Burdett and grandparents, Mr. Leroy and Mrs. Berta Nicholson. Oh, I'm so sorry. Kyla also, her choir is a part of the Women's Ensemble, and they're going to state from Sumner. Member of the Youth Choir and Youth Mission. <laughs> Quintara White. Quintara is in the sixth grade at Bridger Middle School. Quintara received all A's and B's on her report card with a 3.71 grade point average. In the youth mission, youth choir member as well. Her mother is Miss Sean White and grandparents, Mr. Leroy and Mrs. Berta Nicholson. Mariah Taylor. <laughs> Mariah is a sophomore at Olathe South. Mariah is on the honor roll, swim team, taking college classes, vice president of the Youth City Mission for the Powell Valley District, member of the Youth Choir, and the Youth Mission. And I believe, uh, Mariah, you're also running for Powell Valley District? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Her mother is Ms. Angie Taylor and grandmother Minister Diane Elliott. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Janae Jamerson. And if Janae's not here, all right. Janae is a junior at the Kansas Connection Academy. Janae got all A's and B's with just one C on her report card. Thank you. And Janae is on track to graduate a semester early. Her mother is Stephanie Aferakia, and her proud grandmother is Marilyn Aferakia. <laughs> Roman Adams.
Roman is a senior at DeSoto High School. He's on the A and B honor roll. Kansas State Forester. He's president of the soccer and rugby club. Uh, he's Youth City Mission president of the Call Valley District. He's a member of the Youth Mission, Youth Choir member. He has signed to uh, play soccer at Iowa Central College. He's the winner of the Call Valley District 2022 oratorical concert contest. And if you haven't heard, just this past Friday, he won the state 2022 oratorical contest. Congratulations on that, Roman. Uh, also, he's going to be heading to state oratorical concert uh, contest and that date is to be announced we don't have all that information metropolitan please join me in recognizing these seven students of ours that are doing outstanding things and let's give them claps of love <laughs> Young people, again, as you continue your studies and achievements, always, always keep God first in your life, for he will direct your path and see you through. You may be seated. Praise the Lord for our young people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for honoring our young people, cherish the children and the young people. God bless each of you, all right? On the announcement, I will um, call for the announcements. After I read these announcements, um, those of you who have other announcements, you may come forward. Amen. This card is a thank you for the kindness of you being to us in this world from the Estes and Hall family. They don't want to thank us. Another card is from uh, Rita Hamilton. With sincere appreciation, it is a tr true blessing to have such a wonderful church family. Your prayers and words of comfort helped me through this difficult time. Thank you for the cards and the phone calls and the love, the, the letter of condolences sent in the loss of my sister, Velveeta meant a lot to me. High school and college graduates with scholarship ministry will be registering graduates beginning April 3rd through April 24th of this year. The last date to complete and return the application is April 24th of this year. Applications will be in the office. Please call and make an appointment to come in and complete and leave the application with the office staff. Recognition day is May 15 of this year during 10 a.m. service. This is the scholarship committee. If you have other announcements, you may come forth now, amen. Good morning, Metropolitan. I just, I'm coming before you because it's that time of year where we have Easter uh, program. So we'll be having another Easter program on uh, next Sunday, Easter Sunday morning at 9 o'clock, and it's called Building Easter. And our particular story this year is 
is, is full of color from the garden of, uh, of green of the garden, uh, the blackness of night, the red blood Jesus shed for us. And at each point in the Easter story, there's a lesson that we can learn. Jesus wants each of the, each gives, he wants us to give him our, our sadness, our fears, our sins, and our lives. So he died so that we can take all of these things and give us uh, a heart as white as snow. So come next Sunday at 9 o'clock so that you can hear what our children have to share with you about building Easter. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I was so excited with the kids and all. I forgot to announce uh, Roman's parents. Uh, Mr. Peter Adams and Mrs. Latoya Adams are his parents. Church, mem remember next Sunday, it is at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock next Sunday, Easter Sunday. Amen. At this time, we'll call for the young people's ministry and choir. Amen.
to see those all that life will be. And will this be another year of misery for me? But my faith can survive all the things I see.
Amen. That is a message, amen. That is a message, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, young people. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this another opportunity to come before you. We pray, Lord Jesus, for those souls, Lord Jesus, that said yes to your will. And for those, Lord Jesus, who welcome you in their heart. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your sacred love that enfolds in their hearts and minds, leading us, Lord, to you. For those, Lord Jesus, who said, I'm going to wait for another time, have mercy on them. Oh, Lord, will you open their hearts and allow them, Lord, to see you now before it is ever too last and too late, and allow them to say yes to your will. For in this we will be grateful, and we are grateful. Amen. Metropolitan, will you repeat with me the church's mission statement? The Metropolitan Baptist Church in the body baptized believers who worship God, teach the word, and win the loss. Thank you for being in the worship service another time on behalf of our minister in Christ, Diane Elliott, on behalf of the officers, members, friends, and loved ones. Good morning again to you. The scripture has already been read, Matthew 21, verses 1 through 11. But I would like to call your attention to verse 1. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, I will come to Bethpage unto the Mount of Olives. Then sent Jesus two, two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway you shall find an ass, which is also a donkey, tied and a coat with her, loose them, and bring them unto me. These are Jesus' words in Matthew's Gospel. It is also written on the, in the Gospels of Mark and Luke and John. This is a prophecy that we see here in Matthew's Gospel and all the others that was given by the prophet Isaiah in 62, 1, and Zechariah in 9 and 9. The subject this morning is Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest is what we see during this Palm Sunday. Hosanna, what does it mean? It is a cry that means save us. Save us from all that we have been going through that these people in this day knew. They were reading the Old Testament and they knew that they were going to have a Messiah to come to deliver them. And they were abreast of the fact that Jesus was honored, and this is a time that he was getting ready to be crucified. This is a time, a week that precludes the, the days of Holy Week, the Holy Week that comes before, uh, that comes after the, the, uh, the Passover, after the 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 entrance of these people that call Hosanna in the highest. And we look at this scripture and we see how it is so important for us today to uh, cry out to the Lord how these people 
were crying out to the Lord that now they have a Messiah, now they have a Savior, now they have someone that they can be delivered from all their turmoils. And we see some of that today, how that so many all over the world, how that people want to be delivered from the turmoil, from, from their in, inadequacies, from their irregularities. They only need to look to the Lord. They only need to look to the author and the finisher, the one that is able to save them from their sins. We look at how, uh, how Hosanna, the word, is, is praise. It, it means praise. It, it means to, to give thanks. It, it means like Palm Sunday, and, it's, it, and we're looking, we're wearing the, the palms, we're wearing the palms on, on our clothes as a representative of all that is before us, uh, that is coming in the week ahead, that is coming for the, we're getting ready for the crucifixion, we're getting ready for the resurrection day as we look at Palm Sunday. And these, uh, these, uh, our coats are so important in this scripture because there are two of them. And, and Jesus sent two disciples. And I, as, I, as I studied in, in my uh, prior studies, and the mission is, to, is that uh, you, you don't do missions alone. There's always two. There's always two or more. And so in the scripture, it identifies the two donkeys that that, that, that Jesus sent the two disciples to get, and it was already known that they were going to be uh, by his side and that he was going to sit on the dunk and go into Jerusalem and to, to, to relieve the people, to allow the people to, 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 to give victory, to give enhancement, to give honor to this king that is coming, but as we see today, whenever there is power, whenever there is uh, someone that's trying to seek and to, and to look for the law, there's always going to be conflict. There's always going to be someone or something that, that stands in our way, and it's up to us to remove the, arc, uh, the uh, obstacles from our, our stand, to remove the arc obstacles away from us so that, that Christ can come in. Christ, uh, when he was coming into, uh, into Jerusalem, sitting on the donkey, he was crying because he knew that this was going to be a time of, of sorrow for him and also a time that he knew that these people, although they were worshiping him today and tomorrow, even next week, when after Holy Week, these are the same type of people, not all of them, but said, crucify him. So we, and whenever we are trying to, to do good things for the Lord, there's always going to be an obstacle. Whenever there is darkness, there's going to be light. Whenever there is something that is not given to us, we're always going to know that there is a somewhere down the line that we have to give our faith and trust in the Lord. We have to trust in the Lord for all things because he is able to bring us out in everything we do. We have to look at the scripture and how that, that Jesus was coming into Jerusalem. He knew the, the challenges that he would face, and he knew how the people would react. And why, how did this come about? This came about from because all, how did these people know about him? Because of his healing of the God, because of his raising from the dead of the Lazarus, how that, that, that all these people wanted to know who this person was. Who is this man? The, 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 the son of David, who is this man that is coming to, to deliver us? And, and the multitude, he, he had many multitudes to come before him. Jerusalem was a place of danger for Christians. Jerusalem was a place that you wouldn't just go in and talk your religion and Jesus' doctrine. Jerusalem was not that type of place, but we look at the scripture and we confront it, how that it is manifold in our souls and how that we can, through all these many years, look at the, uh, that Jesus Christ is able to deliver us from anything that we are facing, 
how that Jesus is able to, how they say Hosanna is the highest of victory. Even I look at the palm trees and how that they grow so tall, how that they grow at least 250 feet in some areas uh, that it, that is uh, adequate for them. But we look in, in Jerusalem, how that it was called the city of, of palms and how that the palm tree at the, at the early stages of the young palm trees, how the leaves even curl up toward the ground and how that they were curling up toward the ground during Jesus' time. They are worshiping him. Even the trees worship him. So these people that they, they were so engrossed in Jesus and how this crowd was, was crying out to, to Jesus and how the dignitaries and the scribes and, and the high priest were saying, shut them up, Lord, shut them up. And Jesus said, no, if I shut them up, the, the rocks are going to cry out. So we cry out to the Lord. These young people, these young children that, that sung today were calling on the Lord and, and how their hymn resonated with them, how they sung from their soul, how they cried out here today, how we cry out to the Lord and he will answer our cry. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, that perfect victory, that perfect strength, that perfect uh, wholeness that we place in our hearts. Hosanna, God is our refuge. God is our strength. God is our redeemer. God is our place maker. God is able to help us whenever we are down. He'll pick us up and he'll bring us through so, so much. The next week he's going to be crucified. And all of these people, as I mentioned before, they are the ones that some of them, not all of them, were saying Hosanna in the highest and, and putting their garments down and putting the leaves down for he and his donkeys to walk on. They put those down for him, for, the, for it was not uncommon for them in that time when a king would go through and, and, they, and they give him uh, worship and worship the king and everything. It was not uncommon for them to put their garments down and the palm leaves to welcome them into the city. But how many times do we have to check ourselves and don't judge individuals about the next time you see them that you say crucify them because it's something we judge them about, something that we don't like or something that is that is that hurts that hurts us. We pray for these individuals, and we allow the Holy Spirit to guide them in every way. We allow the Holy Spirit to come forth in them, and we allow the Holy Spirit in us to treat others with decency and honesty in the Christian way. Hosanna in the highest on Palm Sunday as we go through Holy Week next week. As we go through that week, getting ready for the crucifixion, as we look at ourselves and examine ourselves, allow ourselves to say yes to your will and worship him in the true spirit of wholeness and worship him in honor and praise him. The Jesus Christ, the son of David, is come and has come to deliver us, has come, and let's not turn our back on Jesus as they did then. Let's not turn our back. Let's say, yes, Jesus, I am here and allow the Holy Spirit to deal with us in all that we do, for he is with us at all times. He is with us in the midst of darkness. He is with us when things seem down. He is with us when things seem out of place. He is with us, and he will guide us, and he will fix whatever is broken. He will fix it as we lay our cares on him. For he cares for us. He cares for us one by one and name by name. The doors of the church are open. You may come by letter, by Christian experience or baptism. The doors of the church are open now. Amen.
prayer tonight, but there is plenty of room. Let us prepare for our benediction. Amen. And now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Let us all sing.